Welcome back to another Radiant Review. Today is episode four. I'm Justin. What is up? I'm Logan. And together we're Cap Shock. As always, we are anime viewers only. We do not come from the source material, and we're going to discuss the episode and give our scores at the end. You ready to jump into this? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, right off the bat, we, we learned a little bit about uh, Artemis, and Doc is from there. He's collecting some, not so, he's collecting the remains of the nemesis that Seth killed from Alma. Right. Um, you know, he's a researcher, and that's their hub is Artemis, where all the research is done and sorcerers gather. But, of course, that, which is where uh, Seth is headed. All right, almost like, hey, goal. go here, you idiot. Can't just go around flying around looking for Radiant. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, and we know that the, uh, let me see, her name was Melly who was the doc's assistant, was locked up in a cage that Dragonov, who was the leader of, had he was some pirate boat guy. <laughs> uh, flying ship pirate. Works for the Inquisition. And we need some conflict, so let's have Seth crash in there. Right. Because, you know, Alma decided not to teach him anything of the outside world. She's like, watch out for the Inquisition without telling him what the Inquisition are or what they look like. Oh, by the way... You need a permit or identification to be a, a sorcerer. You right without this stuff, you're actually an illegal like sorcerer. I guess is one way to look how at you, it. How would you even get one? <laughs> like, do you have to go to the Inquisition and like apply for a an ID? <laughs> um, Your sorcerer license? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I guess it's like to see if you're a legit sorcerer or not. You have to go to the Inquisition since they have, as Dragon was talking about, the law. The law of the land is set by the Inquisition. Yeah, it kind of seems like it's just a a law of what they're feeling at the moment. <laughs> seems to be a lot of convenient rules for the Inquisition to just arrest anyone they want. <laughs> yeah, cause, well, the arrest. <clears throat> Seth, well, they are looking for the boy with the horns, and then, um, also, he didn't have identification, which, come on, Alma, at least let him know these things. It's not like it wasn't known, because the doc had it. True, but maybe she doc. doesn't have one. They were on a remote Alma island. Alma does not have one. I know, she probably doesn't have Cause one. They, yeah, like, even he said, like, oh, the hinterlands probably don't understand the laws yet. Country bumpkins. Country <laughs> bumpkins. <laughs> and so, yeah, he's locked up. Well, he also was fighting them just straight up. As, well, as soon as he crashed, it seemed like he was fighting them. Probably probably not as smart, but at least try talking it out for a set. All right. And uh, so they lock him up. Radiant is also taboo to say, according to Dragnov. Maybe he was just making up to make it even worse for Seth. <laughs> right. That'd be weird that it's taboo if everyone considers it a fairy tale, you know? Why would they care if... And why would they care Maybe if sorcerers... Maybe the Inquisition knows it's real. That could be true. Maybe the Inquisition's actually behind all the... That'd be a plot twist. They're behind the nemesis. And it helps them keep, you know, control <clears throat> keeps, yeah, of the Yeah, keeps land. things in check. There's our theory of the... Today. That's our long con theory. <laughs> Give us the next 500 episodes right. and we'll find out <laughs> if our theory from episode 4 is correct. And he meets Melly down there who got locked up. And when the doc shows up, we basically find out why she got locked up. The doc did have identification. They didn't care. Mostly because it doesn't seem legal to be carrying a nemesis body around. And they assumed that was in the cargo. Well, they also knew because his assistant, Melly, said, oh, we're gathering them. It's this corpse. The doc was like, what? Why would you say that? He's like, I don't know this woman. I've never met her. I don't. This seems like another convenient rule. Because they know Artemis, like, research Nemesis, right? So why wouldn't they just yeah. go to Artemis and arrest people if they're that? Well, it, he did mention something about he didn't want to cause problems to Artemis. It's probably like Artemis has... 
well, Alma said, like, the most powerful sorcerer. So if you have a lot of powerful sorcerers gathered, the Inquisition might not be able to handle True. an invasion. <clears throat> you have all these regular human knights these that are just getting knights. blown away. Um, so, yeah, they, they locked up for a little bit, but thanks to Boobry. What a name for a... A little... <laughs> it's like a goat bat. Ga yeah, goat bat. bat. <laughs> got... Imp bat thing. I don't it's know what the, the hell it is. Like a goat or a sheep or a ram. It's, I don't know what's going on with it. <laughs> but, it, you know, familiar pet, however you want to describe it. It steals the keys pretty easily from the, the guy. Cause, you know, whatever. Um uh, you can't keep them locked up in the cage forever. They right. gotta get out. We there. need to progress. <laughs> <laughs> and they can't leave right away. They gotta get Seth's stuff. You can't leave without your stuff. Conveniently, the guards were just carrying it around still. <laughs> For real. I, I guess they hadn't decided what they were gonna do with it yet. As he's been locked up for quite a while. You think as soon as he locked up, they'd be like, "All right, put it in this room, right, or whatever." But I guess they decided to wait. And after they had already searched several rooms to finally move it out in front of them out the deck. Uh, but of course, Dragonub notices them. He says, Nothing can escape my eye. Which. That sounds like he's, he's hinting towards be. like a power or something. Yeah, he's definitely has to be a sorcerer of some sort. <clears throat> I think any of the like, main general guys with the Inquisition. And he's definitely covering up. All right. The, his demon eye. I would is... say that's probably his real eye he's referring to. Is the one he's covered. Nothing can escape it. Yeah, exactly. And Seth has to use the has to make the mistake of using magic without his magic gloves in front of him. Uh, Very. I, you know, we knew they were looking for a boy in her horns, but it seems they did not know he could use magic without his gloves. So right. uh, now that. Dragon knows he's going to definitely probably tell the Inquisition overall and is going to make Seth even more priority. Right. And we get to see that uh, Melly has multi personality <laughs> disorder. <laughs> she goes from timid and quiet to like some crazy bully, <laughs> mean person. <laughs> Pretty much. She just. You know, she's like, oh, use defense magic. Oh, they're going to destroy my defense magic. That's it. I'm sick of this. And uh, Boobery likes the evil one more. <laughs> she's like, I'll torture you later. It's like, oh, he's, a, Jesus. he's, a, he's an M. <laughs> he's a masochist. Right. Okay. Good one, Boobery. And, you know, they escape. So there's not a whole lot going on in this episode. It's just... It was a, it's a very typical... The main character has to pretty much like get a crew or a squad or friends. Yeah. It's a very it followed that formula pretty close to a T. Because a bunch <laughs> of other show anime do the same thing. It's like early conflict with a stranger, but that stranger pretty much becomes part of your team, and then they're gonna have the same goal. I want to find Radiant too, which I'm assuming will be said next episode. <laughs> But yeah, it just seemed... I mean, the opening like song and stuff that they're traveling together. So, <clears throat> yeah. Um... But it was very standard. I wouldn't be surprised if the next episode we got someone else, like another person to join the team. Yeah. Because... Um, and then the other thing is like, I don't know if the Inquisition, like the regular people know too much of Dragunov is part of the Fantasia or not, because it didn't seem like it. They Because uh, they don't like being around, like, cursed people and stuff. Like, even that one soldier's like, oh, is it true if it touched you, you're cursed or whatever? He's like, and he talks to him like he knows about it, but not himself. Right. So I wonder how much is secretive in the Inquisition from the generals to the uh, soldiers, or Probably if they lot. know, or... Um, <clears throat> I guess it's, what is Inquisition's goal? Is it just control of the land is what they want? That's what it seems like. They right. just want to have they control seem, over everyone. They want to control sorcerers specifically. But I don't know why. If like, if you f start locking up all your sorcerers, then 
aren't you gonna have to go fight the nemesis? Like, <laughs> wouldn't that how it works? <laughs> Unless guess. there is some connection I, with the I nemesis. Think it was I said they tolerate them just because they fight the nemesis. Right, but I mean, they just arrested too for having well, not an ID. Maybe Seth should have got, Maybe all I should have told him to get some ID. <laughs> maybe he could have forged one at Artemis, but he just couldn't get there. Yeah, I, I'm still curious what the Inquisition is true goals are unless it's just to be assholes i guess that that's always be, possible uh, that can be uh, impossible. that's usually if you got an inquisition they're normally just assholes right, right? they're like oh we're just gonna go kill all these people and move on that's right. typically how it goes uh you know yeah it's never really like a good inquisition so but yeah uh, it was that's the episode. Pretty standard. Right, it was pretty standard. That's what I was literally about to say. But let's score it! Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm still been trying to debate about it, because, like, the humor isn't quite my cup of tea. Like, it is... I think if I was younger, I'd like it more, because it is a little, in my mind, a little more childish, kind of like humor. Um, so I think I'm going to set it like a six. For this though maybe a five and a half uh we're, we're just setting things up before we like the world is interesting to me uh but some of these characters it's like maybe if i could get them flushed out or developed more they're just kind of like just too 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 little bit on the too much and a little bit of an annoying side so <laughs> at least to me and that's how i feel so we'll just right now it's just the characters that are kind of an issue with me I will say, let's see. Yeah, I agree with like the six, six. It was, I mean, I already said pretty standard. It's just gathering your team pretty much. I I try and be lenient on Shonen early because they do kind of follow a formula at the beginning and then they will start to branch out. Yeah. Most of them. <laughs> there are some that do it from the beginning, which is nice. <clears throat> I will say the Inquisition has my most interest right now. I'm really curious as to like more of what they are and what they actually want to do. We don't know too much about anything else. Like <laughs> really nothing at all. It. Maybe Artemis will kind of break free of a lot of stuff, like break open a lot of things, which I hope I hope they get the Artemis next episode right away and then we can explore like a bunch of maybe we'll see strong sorcerers and what they do and then more inquisition we'll see but right now it's pretty chill nothing too outstanding i'd say but it could still change we'll see yeah I mean, we got like i said 500 episodes <laughs> <laughs> yeah we'll be meeting yaga next episode i'm guessing who was Seth was supposed to meet yeah uh, i guess it was gonna be some old lady uh i think it's the old lady that we see in the opening song probably but yeah spiel time as always be sure to hit that like subscribe notification bell to be notified every time we upload comment down below let us know what you thought of the episode it did didn't like anything like that uh again no spoilers or confirm any denying theories as we are anime viewers only and plenty of, uh, plenty of others are and until next time peace out see ya